so today's topic is the hand neutralization and the question is that how can we find the type of the lens without the lensometer for example if a patient came in your clinic and you do not have any lensometer then how will you find that the lens in the spectacles is spherical or cylinder it's plus spherical or minus spherical or it's plus cylinder or minus cylinder so this video is all about the hand neutralization so let's start the video so we have plus spherical lenses and we have minus spherical lenses as well in red color and we have minus cylindrical lenses as well as we have plus cylindrical lenses so i'll pick a minus spherical lens and i'll pick a plus spherical lens as well and as you can see the red color and the black color the minus spherical and the plus spherical with the same power which is minus 2.5 and plus 2.5 spherical so i will pick minus cylinder as well right which is minus 3.5 cylinder and i'll pick the same power of plus cylindrical lens as you can see so we have minus spherical we have plus spherical we have minus cylindrical lens and we have plus cylindrical lens so let's select a target on our screen so we have a dragon we have different colors we have squinted cartoon we have map we have this natural beauty and we have this car i love this car actually so let's pick a minus spherical lens first and let's see what difference this lens will cause when i will put this lens before my eye so i will put this lens before my eye and as you can see if i am moving this lens upward the car is moving upward and if i am moving this lens downward the car is moving downward so car is moving with the movement of the lens so remember if the object and the lens are moving in the same direction if width movement is there then then the lens is minus spherical now i will put i will pick a plus spherical lens and let's see what will happen and yes as you can see if i am moving lens in upward direction the car is moving downward there is opposite direction between the lens and the object so if there is opposite movement between the lens and the object then it means the lens the concerned lens is plus spherical lens and now the plus cylindrical lens as you can see and as this lens is plus so there should be against movement and as you can see the car and the lens are moving in opposite direction and now i will rotate the lens and as you can see as i am rotating the lens the car is rotating in the same way so this is cylindrical lens and now this is red color if i can zoom so this is minus cylindrical lens and as you know that if the lens is minus then there should be width movement between the lens and the object and as you can see there is width movement the car and the lens are moving in the same direction and now i will rotate the lens and as you can see as i am rotating the lens the car is moving in the same way right so this is the minus cylindrical lens and now let's interpret the results suppose if the lens is minus spherical then there would be width movement between the lens and the object 
the object and the lens will move in the same direction. Now, if the lens is plus spherical, then the lens and the object will go opposite. They will move in opposite direction. And now, the lens would be minus cylindrical if the lens and the object will move in same direction when we move the lens up and down. And when we rotate the lens, the object will rotate in the same way as you can see. And if the lens is plus cylindrical lens, then the lens and the object will move in opposite direction when we move the lens up and down as you can see. And when we rotate the lens, the object will rotate in the same way so it will be a plus cylindrical lens as you can see. So I hope all the concepts regarding the hand neutralization are clear. We'll see you in the next videos.